just vibing and want to talk about some things, some self-care things. This has been my go-to incense lately. It's called Moon. And it smells really good. Relaxing. So I want to talk about journaling, getting organized, discipline, where my headspace has been the past few days. Um, I want to pull a card from my self-care deck and possibly some other affirmation cards. I don't know. I'm just going to go with the flow. I'm in the spirit to go live. So I'm here. <laughs> oh, I think I missed it. I can't see the comment. Okay. Oh, I can do it this way. <laughs> I haven't went live in so long. Like when I was doing the uh, self care lives, I was doing like every other Sunday, and I think it's been probably like it's been a good minute since I did that. But I went live the other day, and I was just like, "Ooh, get those get the nerves out." But I'm feeling good, and I just wanted to build on some self care things, right? So I just kind of started right now setting a mood because I like the smell, like aromas really help me to relax my mind. And um, so I usually burn the incense, light a candle. Um, I also ha like frankincense and myrrh resin with the charcoal, gives a whole nice vibe. <laughs> so with um, where I've been for the last, not where I've been, I mean, headspace wise, um, I really just been on my shit to get discipline, tighten up on my discipline, tighten up on being organized. I feel like where my plate is right now and how things are shifting, I'm like, okay, look, I need my space to support me and I need to get organized. So yesterday I spent a lot of time, um, cleaning, like cleaning and just giving a whole fresh feel to my bathroom revamping my moving some things around in my room um getting a little new decor here and there just to kind of bring in a, a a vibe that i need like i said i needed my space to support like this shift that i'm feeling um within myself within the things that i have to do right now and the things that are on my plate so it is important that i stay organized so that i'm not overwhelmed when i have a lot of things going on right so from journaling to using a planner. I have a dry erase board, a cork board. I actually just copped another dry erase board. I probably didn't need it, but like I said, I was in the spirit to get organized and disciplined and um, I, I needed it. <laughs> I told myself I needed it, but it worked out because I put it on the back of my door. Um, so obviously like when I'm in my room and my door is closed, and you know i'm waking up i can see i can see that so i th that's where i can focus my mind especially if i'm waking up depending on how i'm waking up um i can write on the board certain words certain things that kind of shift myself like i wake up and i look to the left and i see i'm grateful or i am love or expressing gratitude and just little reminders to kind of keep me in the wave and rhythm that i need for the things that i'm trying to do right now so that's what I've been doing and that's it felt good like I was playing music I was dancing I'm cleaning did a little shopping you know like I said moving around some things in my room I started a, a chakra course that my sister one of my good sisters had put together and we started that this morning so shout out to Drea because <laughs> it was really nice so it's gonna be some journaling some meditation and the schedule that she put together for it, um, you know, you're getting up kind of early. You know, if I'm on the East Coast, so we getting up on my time is like between 4 and 6 in the morning. And there was a time where I was doing that like every day. And it was a way for me to kind of like take control of my day, right? You know, working, you know, 9 to 5, trying to do projects on the side. If I kind of just get up and get right to that for after a while i'm like this ain't it <laughs> so getting up early in the morning when it's almost like i like early mornings and late nights depending on what i'm doing 
because it's still that same feeling of like most people are still sleeping you know it's quiet um in certain places <laughs> but early mornings you know up with the birds and it push, puts me in a good rhythm with myself to kind of get things done and stay focused so self-care right the things that we're physically doing to take care of ourselves whether it is on the physical level emotional level mental spiritual all of that good stuff right so that's what i've been focused on for the past few days especially now that we are in a new moon so if you are following the phases of the moon and it relates to emotions and things that's kind of shifting within yourself then this is the time when we're kind of planting and um setting our intentions and things like that so i want to actually show you some things that i've kind of been using because it's always a way for me to plug in other businesses and other people and i'm all about that so y'all may have seen me post this before but urban eating natural body products so they my go-to for face facial items. I love their um, facial serum and all they soap. This is actually one of my favorites. This, I would say the Neem is probably top five for me. <laughs> the Activated Charcoal is another one. And the, I think it's, is it the Rose Water? Yes, Virgo New Moon. Getting organized, right? <laughs> I also, just another thing. So if you are somebody that's into incense, I know a lot of people don't like incense because they just feel like incense stink. Which they all don't stink. I found some smell, spe, mm, let me get this right. My words been colliding the past few days too. <laughs> um, smell Good Spa has some really, really good incense and they smell really, really good. She also has some really good oils. And when I do this... <laughs> When I do this self-care giveaway, y'all are really going to get to experience some of my favorites from the different businesses that I really rock with and um, have some great stuff. So I'm excited about that. But I got to hit 500 on YouTube before I do this giveaway. So my little plug right here, if you have not subscribed <laughs> to my YouTube, please do or maybe share with somebody who you think it will benefit more if it's something that's not for you. Um, if you already subscribe, share it with a friend or somebody else that you think would be interested. So back on the incense. Um, like I said, Smell Good Spa has some really good ones. Um, locally in my area, I go to this spot called Smoky Shades. It's in Greensboro. They got another spot. Um, High Point Winston, maybe. I forgot. But I've been on these two incense lately. This one is called Luna or Moon smells really good when you first burn it though you like but you know after you pass that for like the first two seconds it smells really good even with me like kind of walking away and like coming back i'm like damn the incense smell good another one that has been like a favorite for the past month or so is i don't know where else they sell these but this is where i get them from this is called organic but it's like a cannabis flavor scent it don't really smell like weed but it smells really good <laughs> um what else have i been on oh i want to share another business which oh my gosh her branding and packaging is fire it's called fox and sage i have this um oil that i've been using in my hair for the past week it has burdock and ashwagandha and I, I like it. It's a light kind of um, consistency. Look at the packaging, though. Look at that, though. Let me give y'all a little. Mm. <laughs> but I've been using on my edges and my scalp. But if you have any other recommendations for dry scalp, I feel like, I don't know, I feel like ever since I cut my, my dreads, my scalp has been more dry. I, I do still drink a lot of water, but I haven't been able to find something that really, like, tackles um, my dry scalp. <laughs> but um, what else do I have? Azari Cole. Yeah. Black Saliva. 
I use this every day on my face after I exfoliate. She also has a really good coconut scrub that I'm getting really low on, so I need to re-up on that. Um, I've been I've been kind of rocking with scrubs lately. I got like five different scrubs in my bath <laughs> in my bathroom that I've tried from different people, and so far I really like all of them. That's another thing thing too. Yesterday, last night, I was in like a how can I explain it? Like you know how like I don't know every day I don't get to do this because you know I get busy or you know, but really taking a full like bath session i mean like you're completely taking your time you're not in a rush and you could do everything you want to do in this bathroom session like from your bath your shower your facial a pedicure like the whole nine exfoliating like 20 hundred things that you can do like i really spent time doing that and i love like getting out of the shower and just oiling my body down looking in the mirror lifting up myself and then like I like to put on like some type of satin light fabric that just feels really sexy <laughs> and comfortable. And just being free in that moment, you know, movement, stretching and things like that is a way that I connect with myself to enjoy myself and also, you know, loving myself, you know, feel good vibes, all of that. So like candlelit showers. I had like this um, LED. It's like a moon and... It was something real, like a five dollar joint from um, where did I get it from? Marshalls, Home Goods, one of them. And um, I put that on the end of my shower. Yeah, I might have seen it in my story, but I had that on there, and I just it was in a whole vibe. I felt so good. So that's something that I did yesterday that kind of like really pushed me into today, into the new moon, into this energy. Um, so that's that was a whole vibe for me. Let me see. Try try rose water. I don't want to did they update this because I can't be reading these comments at the same time. Okay, let me go back. Try rose water on your scalp. Oh, and I got some fresh roses, so I can either make that or I would definitely like to support some support. Told you my words, baby. Just uh, <laughs> what's going on? <laughs> but um, yeah. If you know anybody that has a really good rose oil or you know that you mentioned that i can actually buy from and support i'm with that too but self-care i like making making stuff not necessarily everything that i make i'm like in the spirit to like sell or make a business out of it but it feels good like doing my little herbal things um another thing that i got so excited about was i had got as a gift maybe like almost two years ago like uh um what is it called I don't have it in my room, but it's like a, it's like a teapot, but it's electric. So it's electric. <laughs> it's an electric teapot, right? Let me focus. And I actually, I finally opened it today and I used it and I was like, Ooh, this about to be a whole little vibe. Let me go show y'all something. Hold on. Look. Okay, so this this electric teapot made me want to pull out like this. And I'm like, yo, I'm about to set up a whole little corner. This joint going to look like a little Airbnb. I'm going to rent this room out. I'm lying. <laughs> but I was like, I can have my little tea, my little electric, you know, teapot, my little cup and everything. Wake up in the morning, do my little water meditations, have some tea. Like, you know, just creating the vibe for what I need and the spirit that I'm in. That's what I want to encourage you guys to do. Like, create the things that you need to help you feel grounded, to help you feel peaceful. Little things, you know, it could be, it don't have to always be something extravagant. It's just the small things that lift your spirit. So continue to do those, do those things and carve out the time. Yo, my eye have <sighs> been twitching. <laughs> For the past two days and it, it catches me off guard because it'd be like and i'm like and it'd be so fast that i can't even catch it but i don't know what that's about i that hasn't happened in like i don't know mad long and it just started out of nowhere so i don't know what my body trying to tell me but i have to meditate on that <laughs> but yeah like i was saying you know continue to do the things and find out the things that bring you peace bring you joy bring you some excitement 
um and add it to your routine they don't like i said don't have to be something that's like so extravagant every single day you know i know a lot of people have children and um married and all just a whole bunch of things going on that you feel like you don't have time for yourself but it is important that you you carve out the time you carve out the time you find the same time get creative with it you know what i'm saying if you are really struggling to find yourself doing self-care um or potassium check that's what i switch oh, okay i'm gonna have to look at that <laughs> my potassium is low I'm sorry, I'm really goofy, but good look. I'm I'm a I'm a double up on that, not double up on the potassium, but I'm a double up on the information to look into that. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, self care. You gotta do it. You got to. All right, five minutes. Start at five minutes, ten minutes in the morning. If you have to wake up earlier. Try to do it. Flex some time in the shower to reflect, washing dishes. Like, just add it into what you already vibing and doing. Like, there'll be times where I would be driving to work and there would be so much stuff on my mind. And I'm just like, okay, I need a release, right? Because when you have to release sometimes, you know, self-care is not always just the facials and the tea and the walks. You know, sometimes it's kind of rough and ugly and you got to kind of like work on getting some things up out of you, right? So there'll be moments where, like, I'm not in a space to journal. I'm, I'm driving, right? Man, I'll throw on an audio real quick. Not throw on an audio, but, like, create an audio. So on my phone, I would just, like, be speaking out loud. And, you know, as I mentioned before in, like, other videos, I like doing audio. They're good um, reflections for me. So it allowed me to actually enjoy my voice, allow me to um listen to myself in a outside of myself so it's it's good for me to kind of like get things out as a release so I can feel somewhat relaxed especially if I'm feeling anxious or overwhelmed right overthinking or something like that and then I'll just go through the audio at another time and you know it's a way for me like I said to listen to myself outside of myself right so Whew. Well, all of that about self-care, I did mention that I wanted to um, I wanted to play with my self-care cards on this live. So if you are not familiar, my little plug again, <laughs> I created these self-care cards, right? Let me give you a better view. That's upside down. I created these self-care cards. This is the Bloom Deck. And I also have <clears throat> the power deck, right? So I'm going to shuffle this deck. This basically includes three card types, um, journal prompts and meditation, light talk. Light talk is just like kind of like reminders, you know, um, encouragement, because we all need that on our journey, right? And then you have the self-care cards. And self-care cards are pretty much physical things that you can do um, to add to your routine. So it's not just like the cards are not just like facials or creating a smoothie, but it even gets down to organizing your your space, um, paying attention to what your financial goals are and how to tap into different things regarding different aspects of self-care, right? Emotional, physical um and each deck has the same concept where there's the three different card types so the easiest way to use them is you shuffle them and you just like pull a card you can lay a spread just kind of like spread them out and just kind of i would say use your intuition you know tap into that trust that and getting comfortable to do that it's like i always think of it like you know when you go to a place I don't know, like a event and they got like gift bags on the table, right? There's no names on the gift bags. There's different color gift bags, different color tissue paper. You don't know what's inside. And they tell you everyone gets a chance to walk up to the table and grab a bag, right? You kind of move like which bag you lean into, right? The blue bag, the yellow bag, the pink bag, the one with the stripes, the polka dot, which one's for me, right? So even when you use these cards, you know, just try to 
focus on trusting your intuition. Like, you know, from which card you want to pull, which deck you want to buy. <laughs> um, you know, reading a question and what it's really speaking to you in the moment that you're in. And these cards that are not a one and done kind of thing. Like, I went through the whole deck and I don't have to use it no more. They definitely have layers within them that allows you to work through the layers within yourself. Because something that I'm thinking today or even a question that I answer today, I can have a completely different answer or perspective to that question five days later, a year later, and things like that. So these cards are to be used like throughout your journey as you're evolving, right? So a question about what your fears are today may be different than what your fears are in three years, right? So you could definitely have some longevity with the cards. So I'm just going to do, um, hold on, I got this video, got to add. I can actually stop this. <clears throat> so I'm just going to pretty much shuffle the cards and just pull a card just as a way to show you how to work it. And then just to kind of vibe with whoever's here at the time that I switch to this next thing, um, I'm going to tell you of something that you can comment and then I will pull and direct it to you. And I will just give you what the card says and anything to expound on that I feel like I'm in the spirit to expound on. So this is just like I said, you can shuffle the deck like this. You know, if you play some, ooh, <laughs> if you play some spades, you can like, you know, get a good shuffle. However you want to do it. It's up to you. Like I said, let your intuition lead. If you want to shuffle three times, five times, one time, you know, 30 card pick up, just throw them on the ground and <laughs> fall on one. I don't know. Like, just do you. That's what I definitely always try to encourage that you do what you feel led to do. And it's coming from the place of your true intentions about what you want to do. So I'm going to just shuffle like this because that's how I like to shuffle with these cards. In my small ass hands <laughs> and then you can either pull from the top or sometimes like i said you can just spread them out and then gravitate to a card so i'm just gonna pull this first one here so this is a journal prompt and meditation card um they also color coded so all of the journal prompts are gonna look and have the same pattern by the way i designed these and i made all these cards so i'm very proud of myself and um, a lot of these cards are inspired from my own personal journals and different things that I experienced on my journal that I pulled into these cards from the questions to the um, suggestions between the self-care cards and the encouragement through the light talk, right? So like I said, I pulled a journal prompt and meditation. So with the journal cards, um, you can, because for me, with journaling, I'm also meditating and reflecting. You know, sometimes I'm writing, I stop, allow myself to be still again, process what I'm writing, process what I'm listening to within my, my inner voice, and then I continue to journal, right? So a lot of these questions, you'll have more than one questions. Um, this one says, what are your insecurities? What has caused you to feel insecure? How can you build security within yourself? So those these are three questions within this card that if you were to pull this for, you know, whatever day that is that you're doing this, um, this is what you want to focus on. You want to spend some time journaling, reflecting, meditating. So these are today I will share a little self-care with myself. So these cards are going to try to, they're going to help you in push you to carve out that time especially if you feel like you're not really in a rhythm yet of your self-care and this is just a guide because you can you can flex it as you see fit you know i seen a sister post a video i think a couple days ago and it was right on point on what i was even feeling a couple days ago before i saw it about how like my self-care routine it shifts like according to what's happening in my life where I am mentally and things like that. So I may do something for a whole month straight, you know, or I'm just on a certain tea blend or I'm 
just I always want to go for walks. Um, you know what I'm saying? Like that has been a thing. And then like it switches up, you know, I realize, okay, take a step back. This was working. This wasn't working. Right. And then, you know, I may need to implement something else. One thing that I noticed that I was reflecting on yesterday was like, yo, patience. That's something that I'm still working on to master. Right. And I'm also somebody that's like, I don't know what it is like between ideas that I get and things that I want to do. I can be like all over the place a lot. (laughs) And I have to kind of like calm that inner child within me that's just like wanting to do it all. And what allows me to or what I recognize is that my my way to hop to one thing to the next, you know, I also can get very impatient between one thing that is that's blooming and then starting something else before that's even finished so i recognize within myself i want to see something through all the way you know what i'm saying and be patient with that you know sometimes that eagerness or ambition between certain things causes me to be impatient but i was like yo if i master patience i'm about to unlock another level within myself right So that's going to be my focus during this time and my reflection, because this is something that I was paying attention to as I was clearing out my space, cleaning my space, adding new vibes to my space, Um, you know, things that were just aligning for me within the days leading up to this shift was like, yo, I even wrote it down on my board, like patience is my focus right now. A couple months ago, it may have been consistency. A year ago, it may have been forgiveness, right? So as different things are shifting with us within our reflection and things like that, our self-care routine is going to shift as well. So it is okay to switch up the routine um, and then recognize the things that's really working for you and then not working. So, okay, I kind of went off. Not went off, but kind of went on with that, but it's okay. I was talking about self-care cards and pulling a card. What I want to do really quick, if you would like me to pull a self-care card from my power deck, and this will be a message for you. Um, you know, this is not really like telling your your future or nothing like that. This is really about pushing you to look at yourself, to be okay with looking at yourself and getting in tune with your emotions, your feelings, and shadow work right inner work and transforming the things that have make may have caused us pain or something else that we want to switch and turn around so these these cards is that's what i'm about these what this is what these cards um i would say are for so okay so i got everybody let me see first let me see this is who said mimi okay my God, see, okay, this would be for you. So, <laughs> I appreciate you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so I'm gonna get everybody. So, Nagasi, I hope I'll be saying that right. I love that name. <laughs> and then those who are not familiar, the self care cards, like I said, they have three different card types that focus on um, self care reminders. Um, and also journal prompts and meditation. So during this new moon and us planting seeds and intentions, let's kind of see what for you says. Okay. Okay, so this is a light talk. So this is a reminder. So Nagasi, this is for you, sis. It says, prove yourself worthy to yourself and the most high with discipline and consistency keep your intentions clear to direct your energy so that's <laughs> we was just talk about that too like setting intentions right and i was just actually recording a video that was talking about um pretty much checking in with yourself to make sure or reevaluating your intentions or making sure things that you are being led to do is coming from the core of you, right? Because we consume a lot of things throughout the day, right? Just simply being online, we scrolling, we commenting, you know, we vibing, things feels good, we watching things, we listen to things, we're consuming a lot. So it's good to tap in with yourself, check in with yourself to make sure the things and the directions that you're going towards is coming and connecting 
with the core of who you are, it's still clear on where you're directing your energy and then also where you see yourself fulfilling your purpose, right? Because we know our purpose. A lot of us know our purpose. We are walking in our purpose. You're walking in your purpose, right? And we're getting ideas and we're getting pulled sometimes in so many different directions. So keep your intentions clear to direct your energy. So being able to distribute your energy, you're in control of doing that. There's a lot of things we can't control, but there is a lot of stuff we can control. So controlling your energy, directing it where you need it to go, taking frustration and flipping it into something that you can create. Um, and then, like I said, like, not I said, but I said, but the card is saying, <laughs> proving yourself to yourself in the most high. Because when you are in line with the spirit and doing what you feel led to do, the reactions, whether they're good or bad, is not the key in a sense. So just keep doing what you're doing, sis. Okay, so next. K Tuggle. Y'all gonna put me on the spot. I've been saying that my my uh words been colliding, you know, when you thinking and talking at the same time and it's like everything's coming together. My I've been tripping over my words. So if I mess up y'all handle names or at names, however y'all wanna say it, I apologize. But K Tuggle Tuggle. I'm gonna call you K Boogie. <laughs> this is your pulse. Reevaluation. I just seen your comment and God said yes on all levels. <laughs> so this is self care power deck pull. And let's see. Okay, so this is a journal prompt and meditation. Ooh, I twitch. <clears throat> oh, I think I I missed Miss Eve. Okay, I got you right after this, sis. I went out of order. I'm sorry. Did I? I'm not sure. Okay. <laughs> Okay, Tuggle, this is your card pull for tonight. It is a journal, prompt, and meditation card. It says, how do you respect yourself? Write all of the ways you respect yourself and start each sentence with, I respect myself, right? So that's a very good, a very good journal prompt and exercise to do really understanding the ways that you respect yourself and depending upon what direction you take with your writing it it opens up so many different directions right seeing where your boundaries are you know the view of respect for yourself because how we view ourselves um when it comes to like respect is also showing us what we allow right so spend some time answering and writing to how do you respect yourself what does that look like for you you know it can is it a certain way in speech you know you can think about your interactions with other people interactions with yourself your inner dialogue how do you respect yourself what is your viewpoint of respect for you right so that is the general prompt and meditation for you for tonight if you can spend some time doing tonight that would be perfect um or tomorrow morning or whenever you get the chance so Respect and boundaries. I would I would put those with that. Okay, so let's see. <laughs> Juggle with a T. <laughs> now that I say K Boogie and you rocking with that, we gonna rock with K Boogie, okay? <laughs> All right, so unique. Um, let me go back. I'm going to get Miss Eve now. Miss Eve now. <laughs> that just worked. And then Unique. Okay. So, Power Deck pull for Miss Eve. I'm looking at the comments in the screen. So, let me know if I miss somebody. I know after Miss Eve is Unique. Anybody else that's pulling in, I'm just pulling from my power deck self-care cards you can actually cop a deck for yourself if you like but this is just something that i intu 
that I wanted to do just coming to me for this live. So, Miss Eve. With this new moon, like I said, intentions, getting organized. What is the self-care inspiration for you tonight? Okay, so this is Light Talk. And as I said, light talk are like reminders. The good thing about light talk as well, which actually most of the cards, you can still use all of them as journal prompts. So just a little FYI card hack. So Miss Eve, this is for you. Light talk. Don't fight time or any algorithms in this room. All right. So this also makes me think about how we view time or our concept of time, right? Um, and even any algorithm, whether it's a social one or a physical one within ourselves, within our journey, right? Allowing things to flow. Today, I was, um, I think it was early this morning or yesterday, just thinking about flowing and letting things grow, right? So flow and let it grow, you know? And I think about when you kind of set something and you move towards it and you just allow it to bloom. You still are nurturing it, but it's the difference between just sitting in front of the plant and like waiting for the new leaf to sprout, right? You kind of just go on about your business. You go on about your day, continuing to nurture your mind, yourself, the things around you being led to go back and nourish a plant, water and things like that, but not fighting the time, you know, not fighting the time, being patient and flowing. So that is that is for you, Miss Eve. <laughs> Don't fight time or any algorithms in this room. And if you wanted to flip this card into something that you wanted to journal or meditate about, that's some you can see what questions come up when you think about that. Are you fighting time? Do you have peace with time? Is there no concept of time with you? Um, realms. What is your viewpoint on different realms and what's happening in the physical versus what's happening in the spiritual and how they connect? So it's tenfold, so many different ways. Allow your, be okay with allowing your mind to explore the question. So light talk, flip it to a journal prompt and meditation um, to kind of increase your self-care and self-routine. Okay, and let's see. Unique. Okay. If unique, are you still here, sis? I feel like for you, I'm going to flip to the Bloom deck. So the Bloom deck has the same concepts um, as far as the card type. So it's still going to be journal problem, meditation, light talk. They won't be the same things on them, like questions and things like that, but they still flow the same as the power deck. If you were ever deciding between which, oh, okay, I was about to, I was talking and about to shuffle and it flipped. So you, you got a light talk from the power deck. I mean, sorry, the bloom deck. Um, this says you got this. Write it down, make a plan, get it done, All right? So I don't know, maybe there's something that you have been contemplating that you want to do. Maybe there's a change or shift that you have thought about. Um, I'm not sure, but whatever it is that you have been thinking about or wanting to do, um, you got it. Spend some time writing it down, making a plan, action steps. Um, maybe you haven't came across something that you wanted to do. Maybe explore what it is that you want to pursue that has been sitting on you um whether it's a business or um a new investment you know uh, whatever shift this is a good time to write it down and really plant your seeds and create action behind the things that you want to do getting organized getting disciplined um being real with yourself and noticing where your distractions are and um Things that you may have to let go that is not fruitful for the direction that you want to go in. So you got this. <laughs> you got this. So that is your carpool. 
Now, once again, if you would like to do more with these self-care cards, um, they are still on my website. I still have some on hand. Um, you could definitely purchase them for yourself or someone else. If you're trying to decide between which deck you want to get, um, follow your intuition, trust your intuition. You know, sometimes things, they pop out at us, whether it's colors or design. And if one of those hit for you, you know, go in that direction. If you would like to get both, that's a, a great thing to do as well. And you can shuffle all the cards together or use them separately. Um, so my website is in my bio. Um, I did, I know at the beginning of the lot, I was talking about, uh, my, uh, goal to get to 500 subscribers on YouTube, on YouTube, <laughs> so that I can, uh, start my, uh, self-care giveaway. And honestly, this was, I'm gonna be real, like, this was a push for me, um, as I'm working on constantly showing up for myself, speaking up for myself, um, and promoting myself, right? I felt like a lot of times, you know, just me being really chill and reserved and I kind of wait for, I'm usually, if I'm in a room, I don't really step and be like, hey, this is my skills. This is what I, you've seen, I twitch. Okay, you probably missed it. But, you know, in a room, I'm not always like, yeah, I do this, I do that, I do that. I kind of like just chill and go with the vibe. And usually somebody's like, oh, Toya, don't you do this? You know, so I've been really in the spirit of speaking up for myself, promoting myself. Hey, mama. <laughs> Hermana. Hola. <laughs> Flex my little Spanish real quick. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so I set a goal. I'm like, look. I'm mean, kind of getting back in the swing with my YouTube and being consistent with that. I set a goal. Let, let's let's hit 500 on YouTube and let's start a, a giveaway. And I want to do a self-care box giveaway um, featuring my self-care cards along with other businesses. I'm so excited. Um, Claire Sugar Mama. Hey, sis. I, I was on her earlier. I'm going to post this live. You know, fuck it. <laughs> but... I had to self-care and things had to put on and share some things that I've been using. So yes, y'all check out Z Zara. No, 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 it's not Zara. Zari Cole. I'm gonna get it right. <laughs> Definitely has some good. My two favorites right now is the Black Saliva and the Coconut Scrub. Man, that coconut scrub be feeling so divine. I'm telling you, like exfoliating with it and then just washing it off and just feeling smooth and feeling bright. Look, <laughs> I could be crusty and ashy all day. But when I throw that on, whew, I'm a new woman. <laughs> um, What else did I wanted to plug in? Um, yeah, so I, like I said, I just been getting organized, vibing, tapping in with myself, shifting my self-care routine. Zara, I. All right. I like that breakdown with the eye. <laughs> Make sure I'm doing it right. Oh, jewelry. So if you've been rocking with me, you know, I've been posting a lot from Earth Angel um, these are two pieces, right? That I just like when I say follow your intuition, what what you like with even when you buying something, you know, outfit or jewelry, you be like, Oh, that's me. It's the same thing when you are using the cards or finding which one to um fit, finding which ones to work for you and ask certain questions. But let me plug in Earth Angel real quick. These are two pieces. I have probably have like almost ten pieces from sis but she really does a great job with handmade jewelry and wrapping gemstones these spoke to me so i had to cop them <laughs> thank you thank you thank you so let me see i want to be i'm about to about to slide y'all be <laughs> I'm going to tell y'all one thing that I do. I'm going to tell y'all some self-care joint I be doing, right? I'm goofy as hell. Like, I'm I'm childlike-ish in a child. I'm goofy and very playful, right? So I be doing, like, silly things in my private time <laughs> that be making me laugh, right? So I do this thing where I be dancing like I don't know how to dance. And it's, it's, it's so fun to me. So I be doing this thing like... 
But now, before I slide, I want to extend the um, invitation to anybody that just pulled up real quick. I did some, I guess you could say, live pulls from a power deck and um, power deck and the boom deck. I oh, twitch. Potassium. Sister told me about potassium. I got to look into that. I know. I miss the so kid live show. <laughs> I do. They give me so much good energy. I might. I want to bring them back, but I gotta be real with myself. My plate is like right now. So to commit to to that and be consistent, I know I can't give it all of that right now. But I definitely would just you know hop on live and kind of vibe like I did today and was just like fuck it. I'm about to go live and we about to do some self care things, right? Um, what was I saying? What was I saying? Okay, I, I'm a slob, but like, you know, I feel like the people here right now is like, I really rock with too, and I feel like a chatty catty. So I might just go in and just talk to y'all about things that I've been thinking about. Um, Let's see, because so much stuff has just been aligning. Like, I was talking to uh, Drea earlier, and I was like, yo, it's like heavy, light, light, heavy, but like, light, light, you know what I'm saying? Like, light. <clears throat> <laughs> um but uh everything has just been like the way things have just been connecting and noticing like the things that I'm thinking and what's happening my dreams like everything is just like I'm 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 happy where I'm at right now and I'm just ready to take things to a next level right a next level right <laughs> but um what I was trying to say was that I had before um, Amuna and Claire, before y'all slid through on the live, I was pulling some cards from my power deck and I one time from the bloom deck for anybody that wanted me to pull a card. You know what I'm saying? Get a little self-care to see what your vibe is and energy is. So just say me, 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 and I'll pull a card for y'all really quick. And then... I think that's all I got for tonight. But I definitely wanted to extend that invitation. All right, I got you, boo. Let's see. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, another plug rub. Another cop that I got from a company called I Am Media or I Am Co. These affirmation cards. So for you, Claire, since I forgot them, I just looked. I'm about to pull one from here. And I'm about to pull one from... So these are affirmation cards. Really pretty. Affirmation cards. And I'm going to pull one from oh, the power deck. Claire came through with the vibes. I'm about to pull two cards for you. Look, and lately too, I've been laughing, yo. I've been laughing. I've been feeling good. I ain't gonna lie, I had, I had, um, ooh, it flipped for me. Ooh, okay. This is for you, Claire Boo. This is a journal prompt and meditation card, right? It says, you have been carrying weight from past experiences for a long time release your burden on paper and then tear it up or burn it up so in your self-care routine um tonight maybe tomorrow morning when you feel led go ahead and um go ahead and release these past experiences, I already know, like, and that's crazy because, you know, we was already vibing. You was talking about, you had made that post about recognizing different patterns and um, going through your timeline and stuff like that. So you already on that wave of recognizing what's working, what didn't work, what's repeating itself. And so anything left that feels like a burden from your past, release that shit. <laughs> release all that shit. <laughs> Y'all know that video with that little boy? <laughs> Delete all that. 
But for real, release it. And then when you release, rebuild, right? As we tear down, which can feel very heavy, overwhelming, pain, sadness, and things like that. <sighs> Feels like a, a breath of fresh air, but then it's just like, okay, I need some more energy now to rebuild, right? Get myself back up after I tore it all down. Because sometimes, you know, there's a time to plant and there's a time to is it destroy, root, pull it up. Y'all know what I'm trying to say, right? So that's for you, Claire. And I did say I'm in the spirit to pull an affirmation card for you. So let's see what that vibe like. <laughs> Cleo vibes. <laughs> you know the vibes. <laughs> Yo, for those of you who know Mabel, right? I think there's a, so I had like this filter that I used to use and I turned, I like made it into this whole character and I named her Mabel and she was this older woman and she had um, like 12 different kids, you know what I'm saying? She was taking care of them and she was always snapping on them and I was like in character with her and then the, the app got ghost, you know what I'm saying? Not the app, the filter got ghost, and, but I found a filter that Mabel might be coming back to the chat though maybe not to the medias alright <laughs> alright so I'm feeling real fun right now this is what I'm going to do for you Claire right I'm going I'm to just glide my hand back and forth across these cards right and I just want you to type stop right so I'm going to keep going you go ahead and type stop, and wherever my middle finger land, that's your card. <laughs> S-T-O-P, what you want me to do? <laughs> Don't have me rubbing these cards all night. <laughs> okay. <laughs> It'd be funny if the, the chat just not showing me. Let me see. Okay. Clear, boo. Oh, oh, middle finger, right? That's my middle, that's my middle finger. I think that's right, but we're going to go with it. We're going to do this. Oh, yeah. Look, I just said, <laughs> I'm going to go with my intuition, right? So, two affirmation cards for you. So, you really getting a three-card pool. You know what I'm saying? The first one says, I am open. Vulnerability is my strength, not my weakness. My openness attracts those who are beneficial to my highest good. When I lean into my feelings, I am honoring my truth. When I communicate my feelings in a loving way, I am speaking my truth. I am open. Second one for you, affirmation. I am worthy. So you got I am open, I am worthy. And the release from the past experience, the burden to release, right? And what we end that new moon. So this is all vibing together actually too. Because with that um, releasing and like I was saying rebuild. <laughs> this I am open. Leaning into your feelings. Speaking your truth. And also knowing that you are worthy. I am enough. And I am worthy of receiving everything I desire. I do not need to prove myself to those who would seek to diminish me. I am worthy. That's for you, sis. These three are for you. I hope you vibe with that. Rock with that. I feel it. <laughs> okay. So, once again, anybody else that just pulled up, we just vibing, doing some self-care things, right? Self-care things. I put y'all on to some products and businesses that I rock with within the self-care. I'm going to do a little recap. <laughs> but once again, just want to extend the invitation to anybody that is in here that would like me to pull a self-care card and to kind of just vibe with a message in regards to, you know, what you should implement and, you know, whatever hits for you. It hits. Rock with that. 
Okay, so let's see. Vegan Latino tribe. Y'all need to go follow. <laughs> the meals be on points. Okay, honey. <laughs> I'll be playing so many different characters. But I'm feeling real bloomy for you, sis. So we're gonna rock with the bloom deck. <laughs> You're awesome. <laughs> Okay, so self-care, self-care. What do we need to add to our routine? What do we need to focus on? Is it a spiritual thing? Is it an emotional thing? Physical thing? This is for my vegan Latino. Ooh, ooh, okay. So look, y'all coming through. I'm like, one card, pull, two flip. This is for vegan Latino. Latino. I be trying to flex my... Espanol using me okay. Two cards we got a journal prompt and meditation from the bloom deck and a self care card. So let's start with the self care card. It says, Phone call, reach out to that person you've been meaning to call and check on them. Nope, not a text, give them a call. That is, that's, that's your self-care, right? And you may think like, well, what this, how does this self-care for me? Like, I gotta, I gotta call somebody, you know? But that person that you've been putting off that to call, you know how sometimes somebody come in your mind like, oh, let me check on them. You don't text them or call them. You know, I got a couple people I need to check on. But look, this is for you. This is your message. Reach out to them. If not now, tomorrow, but do it within the next two days <laughs> or else <laughs> i just kidding about that part <laughs> but not for real reach out to them um it may be something that you can give to them or they can give to you it's reciprocated but there's reach out to that person that you've been meaning to call okay for your journal prompt and meditation this says what are your strengths and weaknesses Take a moment to think about it and write it down. <laughs> How can you make your weaknesses into a strength? In what ways can your strength become a weakness? Okay, so flexing with the strengths and the weaknesses, definitely a good time to do that as well as we're shifting our routine, um, shifting the different things that we have on our plate right now um, and seeing where your strengths can be used and then where they can be weaknesses, where your weaknesses can be flipped into a strength and being a master of that, right? You know, in any situation what that is, like flex that strength, flex that weakness to make it a strength, knowing that strength might be a weakness, pull back, you know what I'm saying? Knowing how to be the master of the things that you can control, the things that you are in control of. Um, so that is your, your self-care vibe for tonight. What are your strengths and weaknesses? Write about it, think about it, and phone call. Reach out to that person or people. Just one, maybe. It said I got a minute left on here. Hold on real quick. <laughs> Thank you, girl. <laughs> I know I seen somebody else that said me. Okay, I got you. I got a minute. Ooh, I switch. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna give you affirmation, affirmation and power deck, affirmation card, power deck. Okay, I'm gonna just call it 087 because I feel like I'm looking at that real quick. I might, I might say that rude stem. I'll be having, I'll be jumbling words together when I, I got 30 second, 35 seconds on here, so I really don't want to start this and then um, uh, what you call it cut cut off cut off in the middle so what i'm gonna do i'm about to end this live but i'm gonna come right back so just just pull up you know pull up <laughs> back on the live all right because i think they give you like an hour max and my time is ending now so i'm gonna come back 087 <laughs> let me see roots them roots them i'm gonna come back i got you